Imagine two captains, each on their own individual ship. One captain has his destination in mind, while the other is going wherever the wind takes him. I think we can all agree that the one with a clear destination, a goal, arrives safely, while the other ends up shipwrecked off some island in the middle of nowhere. If you want to see to it that your goals manifest, part of the process is becoming super clear about what you want. As Earl Nightingale says, you become what you think about, and all the more so when you think in clear terms. If you take 100 men who start even at the age of 25, all of them believe that they will be successful. By the time they are 65, only one will be rich, four will be financially independent, five will still be working, and 54 will be broke. Out of 100, only five succeed. What happened here? Why such a large disparity between what these men intended to do and what they actually became? The man or woman who works towards a predetermined goal and knows where he's going, no matter how big or small the goal, that man is considered a success. For example, you may be thinking that you want to get married. Maybe you've spent years thinking about it, but it still hasn't happened. Why is that? It's because most people think in terms of fear. You know, what if I don't find my soulmate? versus thinking about the possibility of marriage and getting clear about what you want and why. Once you know what you want, write it out in as much detail as possible and give yourself a time frame. Then focus so much of your attention on working towards making it a reality. In Path of the Just, Rabbi Moshe Chaim Luzato teaches that the foundation of good action and the root of true service of God is for a person to know their goal in this world. Now you might be thinking, but how do I figure out what I want? Rebbitz and Sipora Heller Gottlieb says, once you know what you don't want to be, you're much closer to being who you do want to be. So if you think back to all the experiences that haven't worked out for you, never see it as a waste of time. All of these life experiences should serve as arrows pointing you closer to clarity. It's all part of the process. No matter how big or how small your goal, become resilient at getting clear about what you want. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help. And of course, sharing is caring. So if you liked what you heard, please pay it forward. Happy manifesting.